So, Stephen, uh, what did you think about the difference between the number three of Trevor Rambo's car that you took out in the sponsor race compared to the double uh, zero probe of Zan's car? Well, it's a completely different feel. The, uh, the Escort was real, real squirrely, as you'll see what I did in the bottom of turn four. Kind of, kind of sniped the, uh, the tractor tire, tire down there. But the, uh, his new probe there handles real nice. He's got a five speed in it now. And it's got it's got more jam than, than the automatic, and it's uh, slightly better handling than the escorts because of the longer wheelbase. So definitely, the longer wheelbase is uh, a kind of a good way to go in one respect. It's um, it's a little less work, a little less arm work. So uh, if you're getting if you're wanting to get into racing, maybe something to look at is a longer wheelbase. I understand too that he's got the uh, front end not welded up, whereas the three car of uh, Rambo's car is welded up on the front end so how much difference do you think that that makes uh handling not a lot i i didn't find it made a lot of difference i actually didn't know that until you just told me but um i guess the benefit for that would just be uh, to limp yourself off the track if you're ever in trouble well that's uh that's good so you figured that's uh a pretty good way to end the season you went out you had i noticed you had a little bit of trouble uh with the double zero car getting started there, you had to get pushed in. Now, what exactly was going on there? Yeah, it's, I'm not sure if it's a fuel issue or um, it's like it. I flooded it. I was sitting there waiting for a long time for all the rest of the guys to go out, and uh, I turned it off. And when I went to turn it back on, it wasn't it wasn't going. I tried uh, push starting me in first gear there, and it it was like it wasn't getting enough fuel. So it came into the pits, and Jeremy got me out pretty quick there, and was able to run some laps. I'd like to just say on behalf of, uh, of the number three uh, enduro team and probably all the other enduro racers, uh, we're really very happy with what you're doing with uh, the blog uh, website that you have. Uh, everybody seems to be very interested in it. Uh, it's a good addition to our sport and I think if everybody keeps up uh, watching and uh, throughout the off season, maybe we'll see what can happen uh, for next year. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I definitely want to see something good happen next year, whatever that may be. If it's uh, moving to a weekly thing or if it's going to stay on the Saturdays, regardless, I think it's important that this facility keeps the, the pure stock class as an introductory into the bigger classes. Uh, it's very cost effective, whereas some of the some of the other classes, you're, you're in for a lot more money. And uh, as far as creating the blog, I just, you know, I've always wanted to give it the attention that it deserves. Um, it's, it, it's a real legit class, and I, I'm glad everyone likes it, and I hope to keep visiting. Well, sounds real good, Stephen. We'll be looking forward to what your next article is, and uh, I know the uh, race banquet's coming up on, uh, I believe, in November the 7th at the Victoria Inn, and uh, all the racers of all the classes here at Red River Co-op and Speedway will be getting... Uh, recognized for all their efforts so uh, hope to see you there and uh, maybe uh, we'll have a better year next year we we'll get more cars out there yeah for sure I'll be there sounds good